Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Tuesday, November 12th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Phil, Mike, Dorsey. Good to see you. Brian, Chuck, all you good, great Cyber Traders. Welcome back. I don't know where you are, but it's kind of raining. I heard we're having this big little freeze coming around. I always find that bad weather always brings uh, good trading. And let me tell you, it's uh, I've got a pretty damn big list today, so we're going to have a lot of fun. Before we get started, everybody, and go through the watch list, I just want to kind of just go over a couple of upcoming events. Uh, today is actually a very, very big training class that every single one of you, if you're a student or non-student, are allowed to come in. We have the Cyber Expo that's coming up. Uh, I mean, the closing bell with TradeStation and Bookmap. So for some of you, um, you know, we, we love using uh, Bookmap. And I had TradeStation, uh, you know, very interested in using that platform. And we are going to be doing a an exclusive event that's going to be broadcast here for the first time anywhere, not even on TradeStation. They're going to do it on Cybertrain University, how they integrate the Bookmap into the, tra the TradeStation platform. And what's also pretty cool even if you're not a TradeStation client, you could also just use the book map and get their data feed. So you don't have to worry about all these, you know, how can I say it? Professional fees, you know what I'm saying? You know, where we always, everyone's complaining about those. So, you know, like I said, let's just keep it as that. But, uh, but uh, you know, that's going to be this afternoon. So every single one of you, make sure you registered for that event. And also we have... Uh, the all great class that we have today, which is uh, Traders Talk. So, everybody, which is going to be at 11 o'clock, and everyone is invited to that one. And then, obviously, in the bottom, you know, we got all the classes that are coming up. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed phase one. We're going to continue with phase two starting tomorrow. All right. So, what we got going on for this morning, um, can't go to that yet because I got to go through the watch list of what happened yesterday, right? A couple of nice little stocks for some of you guys who were not here earlier. Let's start off with the SPWR trade. Just want to kind of bring that up. That was actually one of the stocks that was on the watch list yesterday. Had a nice little pop early. And uh, which kind of gave it away was the Fausto flag right there, right around 930. You should have got in right around, got out at 940, 930. If you didn't, you could see where it dropped. But that was actually a really nice, quick winner. Everyone did pretty well on that one. CRNX, another one that made our watch list. That one was also, uh, let me fix my time frame on this, be a little better. So that one had a really nice pop early in the morning, buck 90 to 270, done by 11 o'clock, and then sure enough, come back here around 3, and the thing tanked. So early bird gets the worm. That was a nice little early run right there. ETM, another one that was great. Early bird right there, boom. 4.30, right to $5, done at 11 o'clock. Listen, I keep telling everybody, you don't, this is not a full-time job. Just make your day's pay. Make it early. You don't got to make the full dollar. You don't got to make the thousand dollars, the quarter million if you don't have to. Just pull 50 cents on that deal. You've been fun. DLVS, last but not least yesterday, tanked from the run of last week off earnings. And you could see that stock just literally, just really no mercy. That stock literally just kind of $90 stock, just really getting killed right here. All right. So uh, let me fix my time frame here. And let's go out there and see what's going on this morning. All right. A lot going on. Ken's already up 22 cents uh, on the SLDB. All right, Ken. Nice way to start the early morning. Uh, my volume needs to be a little bit louder. All right. Hopefully that helps out a little bit long, um, more, Tim. Is that a little better? Okay. All right. So let's go through the watch list. Got a couple of stocks we're gonna go, we got going on. First of all, the AMRN, which was... Early bird gets the worm right around 8 o'clock this morning. Fix the time frame here. You can see that thing just really just popped up to 8.30. I mean, $17 to $20. I don't know about, I know some of you guys are already done for the day on that one, but AMRN, that was a great mover that we did pre, already in pre-market. Some of you guys already enjoyed that run. But some of them that are out there, that if you missed the pre-market, there's a couple of them that are popping up out of the, out of the blue right now. This SNCR, this stock tanked from six sixty down to four dollars. She's up a little bit. She's testing right around resistance levels. Got some nice orders out here. Got a five thousand share sell. It's going to probably hold it right around here around four eighty nine, which looks like it kind of tested it and kind of backed off. That one looks pretty good right there. L O N E. By the way, for some of you who can't keep up with the writing on the stock symbols, don't worry. I'm going to put it in as an announcement. 
So we got this one right here also, L O N E, up 10%, $22, up 22,000 uh, shares already traded. The chart doesn't look as pretty as I like, but you know what? For a beginner, this might be up your alley. By the way, Greg just put in the link for the closing bell. Just click on that link right there and get registered. All right, guys? So we got that link right there for you. All right, what else we got that's moving? We got the loans. You got the ACST. Is another one that came up on the radar. Cheap little stock. Had nice support levels right around here at buck 80. She's gapping up. Did she test this resistance levels right around 220-ish? Uh, then it'll probably back off, but that one's doing great. SLDB. This thing, I mean, just got destroyed. 71%. And still going lower, breaking all-time lows. Not a very good sign for this one, which we all know these things sometimes don't ever come back. By the way, the NXTC, everybody remember that one yesterday? That one came back a little bit. That was one of the short squeezes, which we made a killing on it. You know, typical $20 stock goes up to 110 What we do here, right? Well, had it go up so high, short squeeze. But uh, she did make a little bit of a comeback yesterday. You can see it. She did come back a little bit. So, uh, but I'm going to put that on the watch list too. You never know. Sometimes these things do make a little bit of a comeback. But uh, it got resistance levels right here. All right. What else we got going on here? We missed the DRRX. Is that right? I did him wrong. That one, I don't know what happened with this one. This one just did a nasty shake. And you could see it just went from two dollars and thirty down to a buck forty, back to a buck seventy. So I don't know. Somebody came in there and just traded a shitload of shares of that thing. I think just kind of like just went all over the place. But love the volatility on that one. Want to keep an eye on it. See on the open. Another one that had a nice little gap up after hours of twenty four percent KMRMN. Now this one's nice because it's got a lot of volume. It's a nice level one stock. The only thing is kind of flat. You know what, Rich? I saw the brew. You know the brew's a buyout. The brew's a buyout, so forget about that one. I, I, that's why it's not even on the list, up 121%. You can see from yesterday, somebody came out with news, and that's why it's where it is. Okay, so forget, don't even go there. Uh, SE is another one that I found. This one looks a little bit nicer, a little bit more of a faster-moving stock. It's in a level three category. You know, you got to be a little bit more advanced trader, but it's breaking higher highs. Nice little trend right there. DGSE, another one that came up on the radar, 11%, 88,000 shares, testing, breaking a higher high, got great volume, great orders, nice spread. I think this could be good for a beginner trader too to make some a little bit of run up right there. I got two more right here, the, a big list. This one a little bit nicer, up that 31 at 31 bucks. If it breaks and fills in the gap, you can see the stock really took a nasty, nasty hit. Made a really nice move after hours yesterday, and she is breaking a higher high from yesterday. This one, I like this one a little bit better than all of them. But once again, not everyone's really qualified to trade all these stocks. And I think that was it. I think a DPLO I put in there. I think that was one more too. Another one that got crushed down 45%. <laughs> Another pharmaceutical stock. We tell you, they don't come back these things. So, um... That pretty much does the brand name stocks. I mean, there are a couple of the stocks that are moving. Obviously, everybody heard about Uber. You know, the CEO sold a shitload of his shares. One of the reasons why they come back. I told you this is going to happen when this company went public. I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, you know, Ben just put all, everything that was on the Benzinga, which you know that, you know, we use that as our data feed. A lot of brand name stocks out there. I know I saw, I saw the ROK, Ben, uh, uh, Rockwell Automotive. Only issue is thing just took off up huge. But, you know, we're not trading a $200 stock. But, yes, that was a really, really nice move also. A lot, lot of nice little moving stocks. So there is a list out there of just everybody should be in something, okay? And if you don't do a trade today, you better punish yourself and buy something just so you get into it. You know, remember, I always tell everybody this. Our job here at Cybertrain University is not to teach you how to make money. It's how to teach you how to stop losing it. And, you know, everyone's got these great formulas and, you know, crystal ball indicators stuff but you know what if you don't know how to hit the button and buy the stock you're never going to learn how to trade so listen a lot of good stocks there to trade a lot to share a lot to go around it is hump day it is tuesday so let's go out there and listen it should, everyone should already made money this morning 
and you know uh, in the AMRN. So if you made your money on that one, you should pretty much be done right now for today. AMRN. All right, so there's your watch list, guys. Uh, oops, spelled it wrong. There we go. Um, that pretty much does it for today, and we'll be back once again at eleven. We are going to be doing uh, traders uh, traders talk with Josh which is one of the very most popular classes that we have here at CyberTrade University. You're all invited. And don't forget, every single one of you, big, big announcement, the, uh, the, the integration of Level 4 into TradeStation, first of its kind. And uh, I think it's going to be an exciting one. Everyone should be in there. We'll let everybody know. So don't miss that event. All right, guys, go listen. Good luck today. Happy trading. And remember, make your money, turn the computer off, and we'll see you back in class, all right? Remember, it's not a full-time job. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.